This episode is brought to you by FIFACoinsBuy.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off your ultimate team coins. And G2A.com for the best cheap games. Hey guys, how's it going? Master here. Welcome to another Leech United Crew Man episode. Now, the first game that we're going to be playing will be against QPR away at, um, where do they play again? What's it? I forget. Is it Loftus? I think it's Loftus. We'll move on. Either way, continuing on. That's our first game. But then after that, four days later, so that means we now have to pick a team which we're going to save for, or at least plays that we're going to try to save for the FA Cup semi-final. So this is the side I'm throwing out there for the game against QPR on a rainy day at Loftus Road. And yes, it is Loftus Road. Zardes is out there at the striker. Uh, Niang was injured, but we could play him now if we wanted, but he's still got that Band-Aid symbol and he's still a bit fresh. He's not that fresh. So we got a couple of other players a little bit tired, but this is a rotated team. Hopefully it's enough to get it done against QPR, who are actually all right. And then the big game against Newcastle in the FA Cup semis. Let's go. There's that QPR team. Murphy, you may not know of him, but trust me, he's a beast. Apart from some of these other players I'm not too sure of. Sendles White, not sure about him. And a few others there. Their midfield and their attack seems to be quite QPR-esque, but their defense is a bit meh. Hopefully they're not all freaks, but we'll find out in a second, won't we? Let's get the game off. Niang, I mean, uh, Zardes is in a big space. And now Niang's in space. He's got another chance. Has to power it, I reckon, this time. He fucking looks like he falls over in the wet. Maybe he didn't get pushed, I don't think. Fuck, he's ridiculous. He is shit. He's got to go. Damn it. 1-0 down. They, that was first first attack. That's probably the first time they actually got in their, in their attacking third. Zardes is on a run. Are you kidding? Let's see it again. Browning. He goes up. I don't even know what... It just looks like the other players come barreling in. Second half begins. We are uh, not a defender light, but we've had to substitute Tyus Browning off with injury. Another fucking injury. I've got to go back. And if I get the patience, or if I'm pissed off enough, I will go back and count the I will count the injuries because they have been an, an absolutely ridiculous amount. And that's all they've been doing: pass, 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 and the cross. And now it's in two nil. Ah, oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Having a terrible game. Having a terrible game in every sense. We're losing players through injury, and we're losing goals. Oh, I missed the slide tackle, and it's going to come off, and it's going to be three nil. Oh my god. It's a number four. It's a fourth. Wow. Can't be getting much worse. I try to cut it off there. I miss. And then the shot in Silvestri fucking won't stop that. Never does. 4-0. Are you going to really throw in a second injury? Are you fucking kidding me? So it comes to an end. One of the worst games that we've played this season. And I've just thrown out a shitty team full of rotated second team players. And they have not gelled together well at all. A few of the goals right toward the end there we're only getting because we're trying to play aggressive and just get the ball. But we missed on a few tackles and let them in. It's just a bad, bad game going into one of the most important games of the season. And so player ratings, you can obviously tell defenders get terrible. Goalkeeper still somehow gets 7.2 despite conceding 4. And Tyus Browning, who we lost through injury, getting a 4.1, although he didn't get to do much. And then uh, Moat, we also lost to injury as well. So we'll see how long we've lost these two for. What a terrible fucking start. And now we move on to the next game in the FA Cup. It's just shit house. And I need to give a man of the match to somebody. And I can't really think of anyone that had an even half good game. But I guess real one player that I guess was all right was Stevanovic, I think. Oh, he was... I'm not going to say he was good. I don't think anyone in that team was good. I'm never putting that team, that lineup, or what, out, out there again. So Bios and Niang offered me nothing on the wings at the moment. Niang, for some reason, just having a bad game. Zardes, not able to do much. Adrian, he's normally okay, maybe coming off the bench. In this game starting, putrid. The first one is Alex Moat for two weeks, a small injury. I'm worried about Tyce Browning, though. I think it's going to be a while. Nine days, really. He went down hard. He was scre he was screaming and uh, wailing on the ground, and he's out for less than uh, Alex Moat, who just cont who just continued. Okay, but that now means that we haven't lost Alex Moat for this game because Moat wasn't going to get a start. But Browning is one of our main centre backs, so now we've lost him. And this is exciting too because our semi-final game against Newcastle in the FA Cup will be played at Wembley. I didn't know if it was. I knew that in real life. FA Cup games get played at Wembley Stadium, but I didn't know about in FIFA, but now it's clear. We're playing this game at Wembley Stadium. So our first game at Wembley, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be great. Let's see where we end up. Have a look at Newcastle and have a look at Wembley. Newcastle with a few decent plays and a few decent signings. You can't really see any in that one, but you see 
Uh, you, I did see Emenike on the bench. So if they bring in him for Cissé, then that's troubles. And at least that man's back in, and it's a sunny day at Wembley. It's not absolutely pissing down like what it was at Loftus Road four days ago. But let's see. A much, much stronger side. A team I'm much happier playing with. And we've still got a few couple of players that are, unfortunately, on the bench a bit tired. Guys like Stevanovic and, of course, uh, Browning, who's now out injured. But this is it. Newcastle, my bogey team. Semi-final. A chance to get in our first cup final of the series. Will it happen? We'll find out in a second. Just back there looking solid. Looking very, very solid. Like is it? He just took a turn. Got it intercepted right away again. Another ball. Another block. Falls to Sarko, who's taken for fucking ever to hit the ball and eventually gets tackled. Great ball. Amazing ball. And he's missed it. Wow. That was a really good cutting ball. Cissé's blown it. As long as we're connecting with our passes, then I don't have a problem. And we're combining. Solly, I mean, Solly March is doing real well. Real, real well. I tried to get it in the area, but it's blocked. It's a corner. Get a good cross in here, Sarko. Maybe there's something going to happen. Keeper doesn't want to come out for it. Header's not one. It won't let me swap players. Why won't it let me swap players? There we go. Come on. Anyone again, please? We've got Berardi on the right-hand side. No support this time. Going to have to go back into Bentaleb. We'll swap again if we can. Or we'll try the lob through ball out there. Come on. Nice one there. Interesting. Just got to hit it. It's a shit one. It's a fucking terrible one. He just took forever to get it in a good spot for him to hit it. Baluli. Great pass. Good move. Little dribble. Go back. Another crop. That is a terrible cross! I'm fucking finished with crossing right now. This is not working. We're still passing. We've got Lacazette again. I'm trying to take a ridiculous touch. And a foul! Oh wow, a foul! I'm not sure what that's for. A foul from a uh, distance and this... I don't know if that's... Uh, I really don't know if that's going to be enough distance for me to get it up and over. But at least we'll try. At least we'll try. Sarko! He's got it! Right on the edge of the box. He still made it happen. 1-0 lead, and it's come through a brilliant free kick by Sarko. Another one. Sarko, I swear, he scores his goals only two ways. Penalties and free kicks. But my God, he's great at both. And that is fucking shit house defending. He's tried for the header, and he's missed it completely. He's won the header there, and a blast. God damn it. We've got winning any balls. m &E is now on, so this is a problem. Beaten one. There's the foul. We'll play the advantage and look at Julian Brandt. Just go for a bit of a run here. And the gaps will open. Lacazette will go. Oh, and it's a break. It's a second. It's not a brace. So what am I saying? He didn't get the free kick. But that is a stunning goal and a second one. Lacazette, I have never had a player that can do things like this. Look at that. That's a brilliant hit. Oh, this should be a great angle as well. Look, just gets past. It's curling back. Just gets the side netting. Stunning, stunning goal, Lacazette, to get us with some breathing space over Newcastle and maybe into the final. I hate crossing, but I'm going to I'm gonna do it again. Maybe this time with some momentum. No. Sarko, he'll try a hit. It gets blocked again. That could have almost been on target, I reckon. And they're still going with this exact same attack. That pass. Now they're fucking killing us. Now they're really going to do it, aren't they? Jack Colback now. Still passing. Cross. Look at who's completely open. The save. Clear it. Gone. Oh, wow. Ah, come on. I could have tried to run right past him, but I didn't. That's okay, though. We've gotten very... I got very, very angry. The game was giving us nothing in, in those last couple of moments, but... Oh, my fucking God. They're still giving the bullshit to Newcastle. Will you fucking give us anything? A chance. Don't... Cross. So you're not going to win that header. Clears away. It's still in. It's still in. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. The game is now over. I got really, really fucking nervous there. The amount of bullshit. The header's never been won. The tackle's going right back to them. Everything. The shit turnovers. The passes that missed everybody. Oh my god, they did everything they could in the last 20 minutes. That fucking game, this fucking game did everything it could to try to get Newcastle a goal. But it didn't work, and it's going to be a 2-0 victory. And it's going to be Leeds in the FA Cup final. Who we're going to be playing is yet to be decided, but we've got to look and see who is going to get our man of the match. We've got Silvestri obviously doing extremely well there with a man of the match rating. We've got Lacazette doing quite well, a goal scorer. Sarko getting the highest outfielder rating with an 8.2, just 0.1 short uh, of the man of the match award. And then a few other players we're looking at. Bentaleb rated well, Brant rated well as well. But um, I'm going to have to give man of the match in this game to Bakri Sarko because he was absolutely superb. That free kick was actually brilliant and he had another chance, but unfortunately just put it a little bit uh, too softly on the shot and it hit the wall, but that's okay. Could have had two. And apart from that, a lot of other great play as well. Absolutely sensational. We're into the final. It's either going to be Manchester United or Arsenal. Manchester United versus Leeds FA Cup final would be something. And Arsenal, if they were to get through, they have been struggling this season, but they suddenly turn it up right at the end of the season. Kind of like Liverpool last season, honestly. So now we are, yeah, it will be interesting. 
Two tough opponents, and really, I'll take either Raw, because one's not weaker than the other at this point. And now for another big, big break until the game against Cardiff, which is great. Cardiff surely wouldn't be doing all too well. Tournament prize money's coming in for reaching the final. And now, another game. And this one is actually going to be very important because it probably puts us level with the rest of the competition on games played. So maximum points here could have us level with Arsenal if they don't get a win or at least sick over Manchester United. And another starting 11 team right there. We've got everyone back, really almost everyone fully, fully fit. Browning is now back from his injury too. Savanovic is now fully fit and can play the game as well. Cardiff City aren't really in the relegation zone, but they do have a very low goal difference and they are 14th. And they get us kicked off too. All right, here we go. Last game of the episode. Nice tackle. He's got a turn. He's not able to get there. He's actually injured the man that's gone down. That is ridiculous, especially if they get to go on from this. Still chances on this right-hand side. Was actually thinking about getting it to Berardi, but it went to Lacazette instead, who's going to find a beautiful pass. Who's then going to find a cross and a header. And that's a sensational header. Pinpoint accuracy from Barluli. It's a goal. Look at that pass with three plays around him. He's been able to find Savanovic, and he finds Barluli. That header is brilliant. And that tackle that led to that possession has injured the player that was on the ball. Oh, what a cross. Wow, what a cross. Oh, what a fucking cross. And look at the marking. All these crosses, they're doing the same thing. Oh, he went in. He really went in for it. No fucking way. That's 2-0. Oh, 2-1. Move. Still got it, like is it. Good move. Another good move. Still going. Oh, he's going past a few. Oh, wow, it's going underneath his legs. We get a fortunate one. I just tried to poke it. I just tried to... Just get it in that far corner, cut across goal, and thankfully I've, some, I've somehow still got it going right to the keeper. But he's just gotten a bit of luck. Lacazette equalizes through his legs. Barluli's been good. Barluli's been terrific, actually. He's been really solid. Good pass. Have another hit if you can. Go for it. Hard one. Just head it again. It's... Oh! Oh, he does let out the cross. It just perfectly gets to the back. Win this header. Fucking get it out. Get it out. Get it the fuck out of there. That's bullshit. I was spamming the B button. This is fuck. It's stupid. What? Are we, how are we going to play this? How are we going to play this? Got him on the break. Got him on the break. Brady, you're quick enough, are you? No, you have to go back. Another good smart touch around. Try the finesse. Oh, Baluli. He'll take number four. A brilliant finesse shot outside of the box. It honestly didn't even hit the side netting. I just think maybe it was the height. Keeper's just... I don't know how he's... I don't know his logic behind trying to save that goal. But it is a goal. Oh, did you fucking see that? That is another injury. And he's out. How many over the course of the season? God fucking knows. It's actually ridiculous. But maybe we'll... Make it a little bit better with a third or fifth goal. Camera's fucking doing, I don't know, God knows what. But Lacazette's doing, I don't know, God knows what either. Just waiting for someone to get in the middle. That's that man. That is that man. Number five. The sub for the injured Baluli gets a... F oh, yes. And that will be game. Fine. It's done. We lose. Oh, the man of the match. And I've already given away who's getting the vote early. Uh, threw an injury right at the end there. But fuck. We came from 2-1 down to win it 5-2. That is really what we needed as well. Going, you know, coming off of a QPR loss in the Premier League. A 4-0 QPR loss. A big win like that. Now, Barluli got man of the match from FIFA. And he's already going to get my man of the match. You know that. I've already said it. Credit to a few players that did quite well. Like I said, obviously doing well. Savanovic getting a very high rating. Our keeper was okay as well, Silvestri. Some of our defenders really could have done a lot better. Like that one passage play where we nearly conceded an equaliser because we I was smashing the B button. I must have hit it about 124 times and it still didn't fucking do anything. And Barluli, who has torn his calf muscle off the ball, no contact. We saw it. He just went down in the 89th fucking minute. It's ridiculous. And now we've got a very, 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 very long gap until our next game against Chelsea. It's a week-long break, so all of our players are going to be fit. Not all of them are going to be fresh. Not all of them are going to be injury-free. Uh, injury it seems like every player in the team is fucking injury-prone. It is absolutely crazy the amount of teams that are fighting for the top four spot at the moment, that fourth spot in the Champions League. You've got Manchester United filling up that space right now on 57 points. Below them in 5th and 6th are Newcastle United and Aston Villa on 56 points. Below them, Arsenal and us, Leeds United on 55 points. And then Spurs, just below us, is just 1 point on 54. And then below them is QPR on 47. But right now, toward the end of the season, with uh, for us, 5 more games left to go, 
it's just so insane how a bad run of form would absolutely kill us and maybe only get us like just into the mid-table, top mid-table, and how a really good run of form can see us in Champions League at this point in the season. But that's it for the episode, guys. We have a game against Chelsea coming up first game in the next one, and we were also able, in the last second last game of this episode, able to win against Newcastle United at Wembley in the semi-final of the FA Cup to get to the final of the FA Cup. It's either going to be Manchester United or Arsenal that will be playing, and it will be... Arsenal that we will be playing in the FA Cup final. Wow, so, wow, really, they've got that. It took me a moment to realise, holy shit, yeah, there we go. It's Arsenal versus Leeds United in the FA Cup finals. But that will do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching the next episode. Even though it won't have the FA Cup final, it's going to be massive. We've got a game against Chelsea, top of the table, a game against Man City, they're in the top three, they're second, I think, and then a game against Newcastle that are fifth. It is really going to shake up the table if we have a, if we have a really, really good run of games against these, or it's really going to fucking kill us trying to get into that top four. I guess we will find out in time and at the end of the next episode how I do. But until then, my name is Mars Bucks. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.